This will be an example of using a DXF file on your Miltronics 9000 control to drill holes. So we're going to have multiple holes in two different sizes and it's going to show how easy it is to bring in the holes without having to type in every single position. So we're going to have a piece of 6 inch by 6 inch stock half inch thick. X0, Y0 will be the top left corner. So I have a conversational program started. F8 program, F3 last. You can see I define the solid model stock size. And then select F10 next. And I have tool number 11, which is a quarter inch drill. And now normally you would select F6 insert, F3 drill, and then F1 start, followed by all your different positions of your holes. But when you're bringing in the DXF, you select F7 CAD. Now you have to make sure your DXF is already loaded into your control off of your USB or off of your network. So select F7 CAD, and all of your DXF files on your control are going to be displayed. We're going to work with plate with holes 3.dxf, that's the name of our DXF. So F1 select. And it recognizes you have quarter inch diameter holes and half inch diameter holes. We are going to select the quarter inch diameter holes, so F3 toggle. Now the quarter inch diameter holes is checked. Now press escape. And all of your hole positions are now in the control. So let's look at F9 previous. We're going to page backwards through all of our different hole locations. So if you ever need to edit a hole location, you can edit it just like any other conversational program. And now when we bring in the DXF file for all our drilling positions, it's going to default to a standard drill cycle. If you want to edit that cycle and make it be a PEC cycle or tapping or boring or any of these, you can just select the cycle you want. We'll just leave it as a standard drill cycle for now. And the feed rate defaults to 20. We'll say we're going to drill at 8 inches per minute. And the depth also defaults to negative one inch. So you want to put your actual depth in there. Let's go 800 thousandths. Select F1 store. Now when we select F1 preview, you're going to see all the different quarter inch holes drilled. Although we didn't have to enter every single position. So now let's press escape to go back to our program. And you can either select F10 next or you can type in the event you want to go to. I'll just press F10 next to cycle through all the different hole positions. And now I'm at the end of the program. I'm going to push F6 insert, F5 tool change, and now for tool number, for this tool, we'll say this will be tool number 12. It'll be a half inch drill. We'll give it an RPM and a spindle direction. And now F1 store. And now we want to drill more holes, so F3 drill, but we want to use that DXF file again, so F7 CAD. And our DXF file is still highlighted, so F1 select. But now we want to drill the half inch holes, and it shows there's eight of them. So let's highlight the half inch field, F3 toggle, so our box is checked. And now press escape. And now we're back to the program. You can see we're on event number 24 now because it added all them different drilling positions for the half inch drill. So press escape twice to show F11 preview. Now when we preview it, there's the quarter inch holes and there's our half inch holes. So using a DXF is a very easy way to bring in multiple hole positions, different sizes, rather than having to type every one. So I hope you found this a helpful video and thanks for watching.